Normally under heavy lock and key, we'll give you some high security access as we tour these billion dollar buildings that protect the world's vast wealth. How could we not start with a place synonymous with security, Fort Knox. This is the United States' Bullion Vault, which was opened in 1936 and is located just south of Louisville, Kentucky. Fort Knox is considered the safest spot in the world. A 22-ton door hides the majority of U.S. gold, 5,000 tons according to the latest count. I guess that's why it's surrounded by an electric fence. Currently, Fort Knox houses 147.3 million ounces of gold. Gold bullion has a book value of $6.22 billion, according to the government. However, the price is based on a fixed price set in 1973. According to the current gold market value, Fort Knox's gold reserves are worth about $273.7 billion, roughly speaking. The vault houses most of the gold in the form of 27 pound bars, but a percentage of it is in the form of gold coins. It costs upwards of $15 million per year to keep it safe and running. Fort Knox spends between $1 million and $3 million a year alone to combat water that accumulates in the pit. Fort Knox consists of 4,200 cubic yards of concrete, 16,000 cubic feet of granite, 750 tons of reinforced steel, and 670 tons of structural steel. The construction cost was a mere $560,000 back in the 1930s. The vault door weighs 20 tons and is 21 inches thick, and the roof is bomb-proof. Neither the treasury nor anyone else knows the whole combination to get in. Torches, drills, and explosives cannot penetrate this door. Fort Knox is guarded by members of the U.S. Mint Police, one of the oldest federal law enforcement agencies. It was founded in 1972. Twelve weeks of basic training are followed by five weeks of field training for officers. Fort Knox sits at the center of a 109,000-acre U.S. Army post and is a training ground for military troops from around the country. The vault door, which is locked using a code entered by at least 10 different staff members, none of whom know more than their own share of the code, is the core of this impenetrable fortress. It is highly unlikely that anyone will be able to get close to the facilities since they are surrounded by Apache helicopters, tanks, gates, guards, concrete lined granite walls, and alarms. You'd think the military camp surrounding it would also keep outsiders out. These security features are why Fort Knox served as the primary storage location for gold reserves of several European nations, the Magna Carta, the Declaration of Independence, the Crown Jewels of the United Kingdom, and the United States Constitution during World War II. At least Fort Knox is saving some money by converting natural gas into electricity at six of its power plants. The system can provide more than enough energy to power the entire post, eliminating the need for a power company. Area 51 is next. A well-known location in the isolated deserts of Las Vegas is more than just a rumor. One of the world's most protected locations is Area 51, a strange and intriguing place. There is no proof of what goes on inside Area 51. A U.S. military base located separate from the Edwards Air Force Base in California and costs upwards of $20 million per year to run. Also known as Paradise Ranch, Dreamland, or Groom Lake, Area 51 may be used to test experimental and advanced aircraft. There are motion sensors located around the perimeter of the base which are capable of detecting and distinguishing human and animal movement. Hey, if you and a group want to visit and help them fund the place, they'll run you about $1,500. The 1.1 billion euro Vatican is up next. As of July 2014, the Vatican said it has assets worth more than $1.2 billion that hadn't previously been included on the balance sheet. There are two main Vatican entities, Holy See, which governs the Catholic Church, and Vatican City State, which governs Vatican City. The Holy See reported a deficit of $27.9 million, even though it received over 50 million euros from the Vatican Bank. Its biggest expense last year was paying its 2,880 employees a total of 126.6 million euros last year. 
You'll have to deal with high-tech stuff and old-school Swiss guards when it comes to security. Their duty is to protect the Pope, the Italian Guardia Cesera. Sometimes referred to as the world's smallest army, they serve as personal escorts to the pontiff and as watchmen for Vatican City and the pontifical Villa Castle Gandolfo. In a ceremony of Belvedere Court, the Vatican's guards, who are independent of the Swiss armed forces, swear loyalty to the Pope, to whom they are employed by the Roman Catholic Church. With any elite military corps, there is an intense competition for inclusion in the Swiss Guards. The new recruits must be unmarried Roman Catholic males living in Switzerland between 19 and 30 years old and at least 5 feet 8 inches tall. They must also complete basic military training with the Swiss military. The Vatican archives are home to some of history's most precious and important religious papers and ledgers. There are an estimated 35,000 volumes of material about the Roman Catholic Church stored in a separate secret building that is not part of the Vatican Library. Since it was founded in 1942, the Vatican Bank has been at the center of scandals and corruption. It has about $8 billion in assets. Pope Benedict began the process of cleaning up the bank and Pope Francis has continued it. Vatican Bank accounts are only meant for residents of Vatican City and church employees. According to Gerald Posner, a Vatican Bank scholar and author of God's Bankers, these accounts were often awarded to powerful Italian officials looking to avoid taxes. The bank has closed over 4,000 accounts to weed out corruption and currently has 33,400 accounts. The Institute of Works of Religion, formerly known as the bank, has made progress, but it still has a long way to go before it's more transparent. An iconic Cold War relic hidden beneath the Rockies, Cheyenne Mountain, is a self-sufficient and self-contained village designed to withstand a nuclear attack. On February 6, 1967, the Space Defense Center and the Combat Operations Center achieved full operational capability. The project cost $142.4 million. Among its systems was a command and control system developed by Burroughs Corporation. The bunker is about 2,000 feet beneath the Rocky Mountains, and that nuclear attack, well, it can take up to 30 megatons. Scientists are upgrading the site in order to make it immune to electromagnetic weapons as well. During the Cold War in the late 1950s, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex became an important deterrent against long-range bombers. A total of 250 tons of weight is carried by the bunker's blast doors, each weighing 25 tons. Jewel House in the Tower of London houses artifacts of England's past and present kings. Its collection includes crowns and scepters of Queen Victoria Elizabeth and others. A major general oversees security of the Jewel House. Jewel House is constantly monitored by a separate control center, and an additional 4.5 million pounds has been invested in fire safety and security. Two inches of shatterproof glass protect the jewels, and the Tower Guard and Yeoman Warders ensure constant security, making it one of the most secure buildings in the world. You might know them as the Beef Eaters. Among the nation's most valuable treasures are the crown jewels. More than 100 objects and over 23,000 gemstones make up the crown jewels. They are part of the royal collection, held in trust by the monarch for the nation. Tower of London has protected the crown jewels since the 1600s. The crown jewels collection is centered around the coronation regalia, which are sacred objects used during the coronation ceremony. The objects represent the monarch's powers and responsibilities. Coronation regalia were last used at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. St. Edward's crown is the most sacred and important of all crowns. It is only worn during the crowning ceremony. Visitors to the tower are closely monitored by more than 100 hidden CCTV cameras. Throughout the Tower of London, the 22-strong Tower Guard has been stationed in the Waterloo Block since 1845. In order to ensure the security of the Crown Jewels, they are on detachment from the British Army and follow orders agreed with the Ministry of Defence. When protecting sensitive information, valuable objects, or anything of significant value, effective security, surveillance, and spy technologies are critical. 
The appropriate security has been installed in these buildings to protect people's lives and property, as well as items and information. That's why they're worth billions.